from the beast as it breathed its loss. is as like to throw us off balance as tis our enemies. sources of light. Perhaps we could lure the fiend near and attack while it's distracted. We could employ a burning flame or a light sword of magic. Pray, light your lantern, Master.
I'll collect that. You need to know. An obstacle blocks our way. Perhaps we might remove it by force. If a ranged attack is needed, you can count upon my aim. Might I be of assistance? I did my best to match your skill, Master. Arisen, I know of at least one location in the vicinity that may be of interest to you. Shall I tell you more? The red clouds portend naught but ill omens. There must be a way to force them to recede. There must.
I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. seem to have a ride without issue, but are we safe here? Lontana pelle, tell me. And the martyr, tintome ingarina fa alme al carua? What ought I to do? You think we need to evacuate? I see. And you know of a place where we might find refuge? I should gladly follow you, but I fear my father will not be so easily persuaded. Nonetheless, we can but try. Come. As arborist, Sir Taliesin is the leader of the elven people. Let us follow our guide, that we might speak with him. You have my support. Vindelnar, ne veo norwende lis kemen, moriven lis irumar mel dol netara. Casinke telpe nun findaler, nun mor arpa her. Fionar elwe arfarne nenwen sur orne? I avstir lalasta. Mornambwe hiroth enfane avasil mines fana. Nevea tara morevin. Lis fa aldakar kemen rose oi andil. Kemen rose elame mor orne arenka lea sur? Ya morevin ondu hiroth mine falis ne kenalien matir. Calan venis in heranon el risorone eruor. Non des aman bakil angadur femor. Kemen rose andil soron russa ne karilm il arato. Ne jamen ran enfiriav la sestir. Moretele erandu morivun telume? Findalnar, morivin les jermenan? Nefa oio sur, airando vanitol melantar. Minas vana... Al carwa fir nun el daia. Ane martir, tindome ingarina fa alme al carwa? Et eler, lea fermor el dalia era lote. Sorne an fa meltor, vanalin huror sorom. Casinke telpe nun findaler. Lera ne fir heranon, anne arpa her firnis. Nun dis aman bakil angadur. Thank you. 
Only time will tell whether the cutting shall take root. For now, let us make for the seafloor shrine. By your leave. We shall remain here. Ah, my friend, full glad am I to see you safe, all the more so in these calamitous times. If you have come on pressing matters, might I ask you to first bring them to Captain Brandt? Your Majesty, how glad I am to see you safe. Where have you been this past month? The end of the world. Are things truly so dire? Though, I am aware of the dragon attack on Mel. We received word that naught but a smoking ruin remains. It was a tragedy, and I would not see it repeated. However, without a clear path, we and the guard shall be hard pressed to forestall the impending crisis. You would have me evacuate the city? I see. Mayhap twould be for the best. Ever since the fall of Mel, the citizens of Burnworth have lived in fear that their homes are next to be assailed. If there is safe harbor to be found elsewhere, I believe we have naught to lose by seeking sanctuary. But I doubt I could convince the people of this city to abandon their homes, however terrified they may be. Methinks your majesty would do better to ask this of the Regent King. After the false sovereign vanished and the world was altered, his grace has been the one keeping order here in Vermont. If the people will heed anyone, tis him. Maintaining order in vermin must be quite a burden upon the young Regent King. Let us aid him however we may. Understood. shall await you here, Master.
So you've come. I'm glad to see you. Captain Brandt has already apprised me of your proposal. A full-scale evacuation of the citizenry. Truth be told, I had reached the same conclusion. So long as we cower within these walls, we must live in fear of going the way of Mel. My ministers have approved the plans, and I have petitioned the encampment survivors and the Thieves' Guild for aid. The only remaining obstacle is my mother. She has set herself stubbornly against any such flight. I have tried to make her see reason, but of late she has taken to shutting herself in her chambers. However, I fear that my position permits me to entertain her fancy no longer. I must put the needs of the common folk before her selfish whims. Now, there are a few matters I must attend to before we can evacuate, and I would fain welcome your assistance. We will require several ox carts to carry the sick and aged out of the city. Might I prevail upon you to petition the merchant at the ox cart station in the west of the city for their use? You may assure him that the royal treasury will foot any and all expenses. Queen Regent Deesa hardly leaves her chambers, and all her meals come back scarcely touched. Between you and me, I fear for her health. Have you come to claim my life, Arisen? Well, far be it from me to deny you. But I shall go to the grave with a smile on my lips, for I have no regrets. All I did, I did for my darling son. So do as you will. I have no intention of begging for mercy. Yes? This was in Mother's room. I did wonder where it had gotten off to. But why would she... Hmm. There's aught inside. Tis a... letter. I... Might you excuse me? I would speak with Mother. Mayhap there is hope of changing her mind yet. All she did, all the scheming, all the plots, was all for me, you see. So I... I cannot leave her to her fate. Mother, I must beg your forgiveness. I believed that you desired to make me sovereign solely for your own benefit. Yet in truth, you sought to better the lot of our people. Ah, but I would have benefited. And handsomely at that. Besides, I cannot deny that I was proud. I wish to see my own son on the throne, and no other. Even so, I cannot help but feel that... All of this could have been avoided, had I only been more attentive. If I had but better known your heart, I could have shared in your burdens. You would not have had to suffer alone, and perhaps together, we could have walked a better path. Oh, Sven. Mother, I beg you, join the evacuation. You need not fall with this city. I would not see you take your crimes wholly on your own shoulders. That weight is as much mine to bear as tis yours. My son, you truly would make a fine and goodly ruler. Your kindness will save many lives. Of that I have no doubt.
my son. You truly would make a fine and goodly ruler. Your kindness will save many lives. Of that I have no doubt. Would you be so kind as to petition the... You may assure him that the royal treasury will foot... As long as I get my gold, who takes the carts is no concern of mine. His grace is welcome to them. We have chartered the ox carts as requested. It is a pleasant change for things to go so smoothly, eh, Master? Splendid. return. How fares your procurement of those carts? You do? My thanks. That puts paid to the last of our preparations. I will inform the citizenry forthwith.
bound to open your chest. The month I spent with Lord Phasus was a queer experience indeed. Though my mind was perpetually unclear, I always felt your presence, Master. Full glad am I that we have been reunited. It is an ordeal indeed, and there is much for us to ponder. But for now, we must find a means to forge ahead. Materials, eh? I shan't deny, they have their uses.
That is a remarkable treasure we've found. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. It seems we must part ways for the time being. any tidings to share I could use a bit of excitement in my life suppose I can finish it tomorrow It's been a hard day. All this money you've given me. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it.
seem to have arrived without issue. But are we safe here? Oh, there's always demand for weapons. But Particularly near the ball, do come again. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. Might as well take a look while you're here, eh? Stop by again soon. Furthermore, I've been at this for quite some time, and have much to share. If you've need of any advice, just say the word. My thanks, truly. I hope only to be of assistance.
I believe this is intended as a means of transport. It would be interesting to see where it might take us. I dare say there'd be no harm in using this. Thank you, friend. I dread to think what might have become of me had you not happened along when you did. This place does not have long left, I fear. We ought to get to safety, though I have to wonder if anywhere is safe now. I'd gladly accompany you, believe me. But the others here? Well, suffice to say, they won't be able to join us. Follow me. You'll see what I mean. It is a jail of sorts, this place. A compound where we set captured pawns to work. They were supposed to be digging up old ruins or some such. I confess, I don't know all of the ins and outs of the operation. Underlings like myself were given orders and little else, you see. Well, here you have it. They've been like this for a month straight now. They refuse to leave. You might as well try talking to a wall. You have more luck. I know they don't die like we do, but it seems cruel to abandon them here, all the same. I never wanted to be here, you know, taking part in all of this. The enslavement of pawns doesn't sit well with me. I suppose that's why I can't bring myself to leave them behind. Either that, or... The current state of the world helps to put things in perspective. At any rate, I've tried everything I can think of to get them out, but naught's done any good. I'm at rather a loss. The command came a month ago or more. We are to remain here, and so we remain. I implore you, Arisen. Take me with you. So they're staying here because they were ordered to remain. And they told you that, did they? Strange. I couldn't get a word out of them. I wonder why they saw fit to speak with you. But never mind that. More importantly, you've given me an inkling of the problem at hand. It was the Overseer's doing, methinks. When the world changed, that craven up and ran for his life. But on his way out, he used that artifact they call the God's Way to command the pawns to protect him. I expect that order of his is what the pawns were referring to, but why would they continue to obey when the man is long gone? Unless... Listen, friend, I have a thought. What say you have a look around and see what you can turn up? If the Overseer's command is indeed still in effect, it could be that he is lurking somewhere not far from here. Use that key to have a look around. It should open any doors you come across. Best keep your eyes peeled for the Overseer as well. I have a feeling he's still lurking about here somewhere. It is a mechanism for hauling freight, and it looks as if it could bear a significant load. Might we not avail ourselves of its use?
cannot begin to fathom what will become of the world after this. It seems the world is to be brought to an end. We cannot allow this to come to pass. Do you come again? Let me get that. So, the pawns were being held here by the power of this godsway. Now they ought be free to make good their escape. Splendid. So, there was naught left of the Overseer but bones, eh? I'll wager he thought to take the pawns with him to the grave. He always was a spiteful old goat. At any rate, I'm well grateful for your aid, friend. Now that the pawns are on their feet, methinks I can get them to safety. I only hope they'll heed my words as they have yours. But I'm not worried. I'll find a way to reach them in time, no doubt. My word! Isn't this the god's sway? With this, I'll be able to guide the pawns to the refuge without delay. Now there's no chance of any of them being left behind. Seems I've no end of things to thank you for, my friend. I appreciate all you've done here. I'll get the pawns to safety, don't you worry. Tis strange to think a god's sway would be used to guide my brethren to safety, after all the woe they have caused us. Outstanding. Is locked, Arisen. We shall have to find the key then. you to the encampment. It is a miracle you're still alive, though I dare say that's true of all of us. Oh, you believe we ought to evacuate? Well, you've traveled far indeed to deliver these tidings. 
father, I dare say, than anyone would go for the sake of an idle jest. If we must leave, we shall have to begin preparations at once. <laughs>